Hey guys, so uh, Special Ops Lioness uh, episode 6. Um, I fed all my twats by my dog, but I need a walker. W her before and then, so I'll do that after this. So she may um, be a little annoying or not. At the moment, she's flopped out on the sofa, so shh. touch wood, she won't. Um, but yeah, um, so my cats have been fed, so they should leave me alone. Um, I don't really have anything to add other than um, we've not really seen a crazy amount of interactions between them. Um, not last episode. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, last episode was, um, it was quite nice to see that side of Cruz, her being this confident badass. Um, because when she's playing her, her cover, she's very nervous. But I think she's naturally like that when it comes to social aspects. So yeah, hopefully, well, it looks like we're starting off with the Hamptons again. So hopefully we can see a bit more interactions between them. Um, though that phone call at the end of the last episode where she's like, oh, I've got a new bikini and shows it. And then she got a bit nervous showing it. And then Cruz got a bit nervous seeing it. So you've got that, you've got that tension and that energy there. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see them building on that. Um, I, I, you might be able to hear Willow. She's either going for a poop or a wee. I soon know by the smell. But without further ado, let's just fucking get to it. Hey, are you close? I'm getting close. Weather's not really cooperating with our weekend. You're wrong. The weather's perfect. I love the rain. Hurry. I have a surprise for you. Um, I'm hurrying. I'll hurry harder. Your surprise has to leave at seven. What's my surprise? Well, five women just arrived. Two of them have massage tables, so it looks like you're gonna have a spa day. Wonderful. Oh, look at the bright side. Yeah? I don't know. I haven't thought of one yet. <laughs> well, here's the bright side. I mean... You're not talking when you have a facial. Training for sex now? No, I'm gonna give you something you actually want. Something that helps you. National Security Advisor asking if he went to San Antonio. He doesn't. Yeah, but uh, I don't like their their relationship marriage. It's very stale. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I have information, you have information. I want money. <laughs> There's doesn't feel like there's any fucking love there anymore. Can I just... Can I go in? Please. Please. See, that, that, in a, that innocence, naivety, innocence, whatever you want to call it, I think that plays in her favour, though. Especially with the guards, because they're just like, I'm not used to this. So it makes them go on a back foot anyway. Oh, God. Come on. I don't think she could think of a worse thing ever. <laughs> ah. Ooh. <laughs> she looks super fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, uh, do you think that's worse torture than what it was before? <laughs> Probably in her mind. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. You've never been to a spa? I'm weird about people. I, I don't like being poked at. You've never had a facial? No. But you've been to Hammam? No. How no? I don't have money. You have money to shop in Kuwait? My uncle has money. To auction me off to a husband who spent some. My fanciest dinner was with you. My first ride in a jet was with you. First ride in a fucking Range Rover was with you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to swear. God gave you to the wrong family, I think. 
or there was a mix up at the hospital the day you were born. <laughs> you deserve all those things. I find you a dreamer with money. There has to be one. I can't promise you handsome and money and dream. You're a dreamer with money, lady. Okay. <laughs> but I'll get you two of the three. <laughs> I don't care. Will I may knock the camera? She's just gone behind the screen. Oh, That's because you've never had any. Describe to me your perfect man, so when I'm shopping, I know what to look for. Uh, kind. Capable. Stand up for his beliefs. I don't really care what his beliefs are, as long as he stands up for them. He stands up for me. Looks me in the eye when he speaks. What's he look like? I couldn't care less. I think it's you who are the dreamer. <laughs> Hello? This is easily the most uncomfortable I've been in my life. And that's saying something. This is to relax, and your skin will glow like the sun. If this makes you uncomfortable, I worry for you. And mud. Mud. No. Oh, fuck <laughs> It's a good job I'm having to, I'm censoring this bit, people. But Jesus, <laughs> did she fall asleep? I think she fell asleep. Uh, I, I, so I bet she's full. So she, the mud, what you can't see is she's, they're having the mud bath. So they're covered in mud, but they're naked, covered in mud. Right. There's not much left to the imagination. Let's just say that. She's fallen asleep. Um, I wonder when they go to touch her to wake her up, but she, you know, panics and lashes out. Gets everywhere, doesn't Oh. <laughs> Gay panic! Gay panic! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm talking about myself and her. <laughs> I used to box. Box? I don't know box. Mulakama. Ah, fight. Of course you did. Was that the bruises? I haven't done it in years, but when I did it, we would have to sweat to make weight. Try to get real skinny before the weigh-in and then put all the water back in you before the fight. I've been in the steam room, never seen one in the house, but I know them. No car wreck. It was a man. Why did you let him do that to you? I didn't let him do it. Men don't start with PTs. Start with shoves and slaps and punches and the beatings. If you get a beating, you let him because you didn't leave with the slap. It was the last beating. I made sure of it. How did you make sure? I hit him in the face with an iron skillet until he didn't have one anymore. And then I ran for my fucking life. And then you came to me? And then I came to you. Look me in the eye and name me your five best friends. Don't think, just do it. Name them. That's what I thought. We have that in common. Now take a breath and take your time. And name me one. You. Yeah. I want to be with you. I want to be your friend. Ah, ah, she's giving me. <laughs> this is this. If you ignore, fuck's sake, well, like, if you ignore the context of the conversation, this is quite cute. You can tell that she cares because you can hear it in her voice. 
very good actress. Both of them very good actresses. You can hear it in her voice. The she's upset. Stands up for you. Will you be my friend? Yeah, I will. <laughs> so now we have friends. <laughs> How can I stand up for you if you don't tell me the truth? Memory lies. Also, that her Bobby was saying that they'll take notes of the uh, notes so they have a cheat uh, um, a cheat sheet for when she needs to answer questions. But the necklace was the listening device, and she's been na she's been pretty much naked this whole. Thing. So how are they listening? What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, she gets too close. She likes her. That's the problem. It'd be a completely different matter if she didn't like her. This is what I like. She's just a spoiled little brat. But the problem is she likes her. So it's gonna make this so much more difficult. Fucking Willow. Sorry, I had Willow on my lap. Now I've got fucking cat hair everywhere. Systems closed circuit. The fuck? PD? PD Knox? Kid for a ball? Ah, uh, someone will try to rob the place. Did you pick the wrong fucking house? Officers, they just asked me to drive him here! Great officers, but you're sure gonna wish we were. Fucking <laughs> dickheads. <laughs> Watching some fucking sex scene together, aren't they? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Do not need this. Hi, baby. Missy. Missy. Say hello. Good girl. Good girl. You Seen the notebook? I haven't seen anything. Well, now you will cry. It's a good cry. No exists in the world kind of cry. <laughs> I've not watched the notebook either. Have you have you guys watched the notebook? I nah, nah, nah. I don't want to. I don't want to cry. I no. So let me know if you've watched it. One of those legs must be hollow. <laughs> Hold up, excuse me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. <laughs> One of those legs must be hollow. Okay, she slapped a leg, not her ass. <laughs> You've got to check these things, you know. <laughs> And this is why I don't watch this movie. <laughs> so 
said that you would cry. I said it was a good cry. This is fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> They need love. Can't have heartbreak if you don't have love. <laughs> this is so fucking sad. <laughs> I'll never know love. But I guess I'll never know heartbreak either. I don't, okay, don't I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted here, but her top at the bottom's tied into a little knot. I don't get that. I don't get that. Why? Just, surely that's uncomfortable. All right, getting distracted. Sorry. Not a good choice. Is it the, the ooh, wrong button? There's a cute moment happening. They're facing each other. I, don't, I should be focused on that. Not, this is my brain, okay? I can't help but focus on stupid little details that have nothing to add. It's absolutely the right choice. You are not Arabian. You may have Arab ancestry, but you were raised here. You live here. You live here? I play here. When I am married, I will live in Riyadh. In my country, my culture, to say no is to shame both families. I would be taken back to Riyadh, locked away or killed. For me to choose love would be the death of me. My turn to guess. Have you ever been in love? No. I would love to feel it. Just once. Me too. Morning person? Not morning person. <laughs> They've chosen a place for the wedding. Mallorca! Mallorca! <laughs> That's good. It's the most beautiful place on the earth. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to turn into something. <laughs> that's definitely going to turn into... <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> uh. See, I thought they were gonna kiss last night, in the, you know, the bed when she was upset. But then I have a feeling Cruz is not the type to take the first step. Right. Let's. Yeah. Hmm. It's hmm? the most beautiful place on the earth. <laughs> What was that? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, you won't believe my work. <laughs> you won't believe your eyes. <laughs> what the and fuck was that? And now we must chop. We must chop. Uh, you want some breakfast? <laughs> She's like, shit, I need to get away from you. I went to start groping you. <laughs> Kissing your neck, and yeah, yeah, that was a bit. <laughs> oh, Cruz is 
like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, that's what I think, to be honest, I don't think either one of them knows that they're... Not that they... I don't know. Some people turn gay for certain people and certain people only. That does not make them fully gay or queer in their mind. You see two women kissing like that, you think, right, they're both queer. It's not so clean cut. No. Labels are for tin cans. It's not so clean cut. Um, uh, Yeah. I think they were both shocked by the fact that they, what they did and what their bodies did and what the, it wasn't their brains, it was what their bodies was doing. They were like, uh, yeah. So, and oh, especially with her culture, the gay is, you know, you'd get stoned to death um, if you're gay. So, yeah, did not expect that. <laughs> I knew it was going to come at some point, like a little a kiss. But that, that was, that turned from kiss to whoosh. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, I don't know. At the moment, they're opening a lot of can of worms and not answering what the worms are. That makes no fucking sense. I'm going with it. Um, so yeah, you're getting a lot of information, but it's not really, it's hinting at leading somewhere, but it's not really leading somewhere. So you've got two episodes left to try and answer the majority of that shit. And I'm... Yes, baby. Um, I don't know. I have no clue where it's going to go or how they're going to play this out. Um... Yeah, it was a good episode. I was going to say, we've not had much of them. And then, what, 70% of that episode was them. So that was nice. And to be honest, they needed to in order to push that narrative. Because the whole story is that narrative of her getting close to her. (sighs) It feels so much later and it's not. Um, Push that narrative in order to get to the mission objective. Um, So, yeah. Yeah, that was good. It was nice, the building that connection, building that, um, come on, building that relationship up in order to, you know, see that connection that we got at the end, you know, because it was there. They didn't really know it was there. I don't think, well, they knew something was there, but I don't think they had put a name to it. Um, but yeah, it was good. I have nothing other to add other than I really want to watch the next episode already. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, stay out of trouble. I'll see you fuckers for the next one. Um, yeah, bye.